What up, world? Peace, kings and queens. We just wanted to come to y'all doing a quick video uh, in reference about the world that you create. You know, a lot of times you hear us say, create your own world. And I think that's Im imperative in the world that we live in. You know, and that's what it means to be in the world, but not of it. So whatever works for you, whatever strengthens you, whatever protects you, you know, create your world around that. You know, I know a lot of times people, when you create a world, people have a perception of that world. You know, and speaking with people, I truly think people think we just ride around on boats all day, vacation, travel the world, and just have parties all the time. And, you know, that's a, a part of our life. But the under workings and the inner workings to create that world, that's the thing people don't see. People don't see the phone calls all day. Um, all night sometimes. All night, yeah. Because on different time zones. Absolutely. <clears throat> so it's just, you know, whatever work you have to put in, just differentiate the two. You know what I mean? Work and the world that you create. But at the same time, balance that with peace or whatever it is you like to do for your pleasure. The only thing I would add to that is, um, you know, you have to find out who you are to your core to be able to create a world that you want to live in. A lot of times, you know, we are conditioned from childhood or experiences to work a nine to five or work all the time, work, work, work to survive. But God said, I will, you know, take care of those things. I will give you food, clothing and shelter. But a lot of times the motive behind working is to have food, clothing and shelter. Um, but what we found is when you find purpose and you put your passion, it will lead to profit. And so we've just been blessed to be able to turn our passions into profit. So travel, um, organizing events, transportation, you know, the things that we love to do, we've been able to monetize those. And so you have to get rid of that spirit of fear and walk in the gifts that God have, has given you as well as to know your core so that you can create the reality or the space that you would like to live in. Absolutely. So it all comes with living and speaking your truth. Absolutely. You know, being transparent, being vulnerable, and more importantly, being real, raw, and honest in your truth. Starting with self first. Absolutely. Stop trying to live for people. Um, you know, a lot of people now on social media, everyone's a life coach. Everyone is giving life advice. But when you look into the lives of these people that are prominent figures on social media, it doesn't add up and we never wanted to be those people you know we would rather focus on our real life and work on those things and even with the snippets that we give you on social media you can see how it relates and it ties into our real life so that's just our advice you know we're living life for a living and we're not any teachers or gurus we're just people sharing information and hopefully we're we could be an example to others yeah and be a motivation for freedom and peace and happiness yeah. and, and entrepreneurship excellence. absolutely <laughs> word so that's it y'all you know um just wanted to come give you this message again we've just been focusing on real life and going within you know a lot of people have been reaching out saying hey if you guys are okay you know we're great you know our family's been hit hard lately and um that just brought things to the forefront you know made, made us realize the realization of reality so we're focusing on the real not the virtual and how precious life is and how you have to maximize every moment appreciate everybody that's in that moment because the next moment is not promised and they're not promised to be in the next moment so again as we're focusing on real life and living life for a living and all those things that we just talked about in that it's putting it in perspective within our own lives to cherish each other and to cherish every moment that we have together absolutely no matter how healthy uh wealthy much you exercise what you eat you know anything can happen at any time so we're just aware of that so with that being said we love you all sending much love light and positive energy to you all and if you can whenever you can yo let's connect i know we're in the middle of a pandemic but you know we have a social distancing 
paradise out here. You can come, have your space, um, enjoy the peace of nature, and still connect and build. And even if you're not close, you know, we've been leveraging technology through Zoom um, and FaceTime, WhatsApp, because we have a lot of people that we chat with outside of the country. So it's easier for them to get on WhatsApp and be able to chat that way. So whatever platform that you have available, if you reach out, we can download it. We can do whatever we need to do to be able to connect with you on whatever level we need to be able to connect with you on. So don't let that stop you. Absolutely. Let's bridge the gap. Yes. And we're out. Peace. Much love, light, and positive energy to all.